I'm tickled, even if it doesn't uh, tickle you guys. So the, the view page is strongly typed, right? It's of type person. So model in the view page will always be of type T. I made a view page, and I made a details one specific to person. So model.first name and model.last name. OK? So now I can go to, uh, does someone just have a diet soda? Oh, I just heard it like, it's kinda, I'm kind of like an addict, you know? I don't know if this is the right town to be an addict in, but um, uh, someone in the room just opened a soda. And do I want some? It's too late now. You've already sipped it. And uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not quite at that level yet, but, uh, <laughs> and I was just like, Shh. it's a diet, Pepsi Max. That's, that's, that's kind of the, the level of ad addiction that I'm at right now. But they brought me, a, uh, they brought me a orange juice. What is that? It's not breakfast. Everyone knows breakfast is Pepsi Max. <laughs> Crazy Europeans. All right. What were we talking about? Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Let's go back to person controller. We pass in P, person P, to that view. So we're inside of person controller slash details. Person details, just any ID at this point. OK? So that's the model. That's the three circles. It, you know, I probably could have shown you that whole thing in five minutes, but for it to really sink in, I think it's important to take the, the, uh, the, long, the long route because it, 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 one learns a lot more. I passed in an ID there. I said, said slash person slash details slash four. That was thrown away because, of course, my model was just me making an object. It's at that point that I would then go to the database. I probably wouldn't go to the database directly. I probably wouldn't put, like, select star from in my controller. I would probably have a nice model, maybe a repository pattern that I can show you, and then we would go and get that. I would ask something, give me a, give me a person. I take that person back, and I control stuff. I do whatever controllers do. And then I would then pass it to the view. Now, separation of concerns is really, really important. And there's a lot of kind of philosophical and design discussions that happen even at this very, very basic level. So let's talk about a little bit of those. First, this model person, let's assume that I'm pulling it from a database and I've used link to SQL entity framework. I'm passing it directly to the view. Now, in Microsoft demos like this, the Microsoft guy usually says, oh, my goodness. Who is this beautiful woman who's ringing me? Ah, uh, it's American sized. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't need this, so. Ah, uh, 1.5 liters. No, it's two in the States, kids. Mm. Mm. Ah, yes. Precious. My precious. Mm. You guys watch that over the course of the day. That's going uh, to go down. All right. Thank you. That was a very nice lady. Let's all give her a round of applause. <laughs> so I'm passing that person object directly into the view. Some people would say that that se violates separation of concerns. In this case, the object is stupid. But in the case that it was actually connected to the database, that opens up some really interesting philosophical questions. And these are the questions that keep the MVC kind of uh, digerati awake at night. And the great thing about them is that, as with all religious discussions, there's absolutely no right answer. But it's fun to think about. I'm passing this object. Let's say that person has a connection from the database because it was made with link to SQL or entity framework. Wouldn't that mean that potentially the view could then talk to the database? Yeah, it does. The view has, a connect, has an object that has a connection to the database. Additionally, if I didn't want first name to go to the view, let's say that the view was being written by someone else, a designer maybe, and they only needed last name. Again, it's a religious argument, but some people will argue very fervently, only give the view what it needs, because they might show things that, that you wouldn't want to allow. They, they can argue security. 
someone could somehow send some JavaScript over or do something evil and somehow encourage the view? Like, what if person wasn't, per, you know, what if person included this, right? Right? What if it, what if it had that? But I'm not really worried about it because the view, I know that the view doesn't spit out credit card because I wrote it. The, the, the people who are hardcore in this will argue that that's not okay. You've just told it too much. You can't guarantee that it wouldn't um, somehow access that data. So they would have you create what's called a view model. And most people don't talk about view models in 101 classes because brains explode. Because then they find out that like model view controller is model view, view model controller, and MVVMC doesn't kind of work as a, marketing t as a marketing term. But view models are a really, really important thing to think about. Now, let's switch over and I'll show you a little bit more advanced application. We can talk about that. Let's switch over to this music store. So we're looking at his details now. So we're talking about a music store. I'll show you what the application looks like real quick. This is an application that was written by uh, John Galloway. See? <laughs> this is on. This is <laughs> I feel really bad now. I just, I don't know why that happened. Sorry, John, if you're watching this online. Good job. No. Um, the uh, SQL Server just took a second to fire up there. So he's got music store stuff, you know, and then you can look at a particular, uh, so it's pretty, pretty basic wandering around a music store. Store details one, okay? So I can probably guess, unless he's put in custom routing, it's the store controller and the details method, right? It's one of the nice things that if the routing isn't convoluted, you can find your way around uh, an application pretty quickly. And then I'll hit control comma. I'll type in uh, store controller. I could also type in SC, like capital SC, like Pascal casing. Or I could just type in like details. Go right there. That's the new go-to uh, stuff inside of Visual Studio. So here's a more typical one. And what's cool about this, and what I like about the way John has written this, and uh, John and Scott Gu have similar uh, aesthetics because they want things to be really, really simple. If you think about what the details is supposed to do, and you compare it to what I did, right? Here's a details that actually does something. It actually goes to the database and retrieves something and returns it. And all my thing did was make an object and return it. Sometimes that's all that you need. In this case here, he's got a thing called StoreDB. And he says, go and get me a single album where that album matches the ID that I passed in. That album comes back, and then he returns it to the view. And then the view spits it out. So this is store controller details, store details. And he does a little, a little bit of a different deal that I'll show you in the advanced talk. He calls display for model to go and display that stuff. And we'll go into that in the advanced talk uh, in, 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 in a great deal of detail. But he also includes some, uh, some other stuff in more advanced sections. Let's see. I think probably the manager would be a good place to look. Here we go. Edit. Delete. Let's look at create. So this is the create method when you're logged in as a, as a manager. And this is kind of cool because it fits exactly